Hi floppy catters, today we're doing the final product review video for the Jimmy JV35, which is a mattress vacuum cleaner and an anti-allergen bed vacuum cleaner. It has a UVC light and high heating tech, which also makes it a powerful handheld vacuum for dust and pet hair. I've used it on my mattress, my cat tree, my upholstery, my stairs, and also used it on my carpet to pick up cat vomit stain. So here's the cat vomit stain that I wanna use it on. You can see it's kind of in a triangular, situation basically what i usually do when my cats vomit is i pick up the as much as i can with like a knife and a towel and then i let the rest dry then i vacuum it as well as i can and then i spray a stain and odor remover the the stain remover really but what's cool about the jv35 is that it's got a uv light that will hopefully help kill any like bacteria and stuff that was left from the cat vomit. Power button is right here and then you can also choose what mode you want right there. You can switch to different modes and the indicator lights on the front of the vacuum will tell you which mode you're in. The choices are vacuum plus UV, vacuum plus tap, vacuum plus tap plus UV. And you can see from the vertical inset video that for safety reasons, the UV light turns on and off automatically when you lift the vacuum while vacuuming. I probably wouldn't use the JB35 on a cat vomit stain again. It is an anti-mite vacuum cleaner and you're gonna get the like invisible dust and whatnot up, but it doesn't really get into the carpet like I'd want it to get into the carpet. So that's probably why I wouldn't use it again, but I would use it again on my stairs because it does a really nice job getting them clean pretty quickly. One of the really nice things about it is how long the cord is. So even though it's not meant for stairs, if you want to you know, vacuum your carpeted stairs with it, you certainly can and it reaches down. I think I have 13 steps here. So, and there's plenty of slack, which is really, really nice. After you're done vacuuming, of course, you're going to want to empty out what you collected. I w just did the stairs and some of those vomit stains, so there's not a lot in here. Um, but you can tell there's a fair amount of dust for even that amount that I did clean. There's a release button here that allows you to release it, and then when you put it back in, it just clicks. And then you'll see that there is a lock unlock icon on the side and you just open it up like that. So you can take off this top piece, no problem, and then you have this filter, and then you have this part remaining, and you can just pull this out. I'm gonna do that over the trash can. I know that we are flea free in my house right now, so that's why I don't care so much, but if we were not flea free, I would be doing this outside, because I do not, want fleas. So if you have adult fleas in your house, they lay eggs and there could be larva and all of that could be in your vacuum. So that's why I use a bag vacuum when I have fleas so that I can make sure I get it all out. So once this is emptied, and I, I did ask Jimmy about, what if you have fleas, what can you do? They said to vacuum and then rinse this out. And I've actually been vacuuming and rinsing it out after every use anyway, because I just don't like the look of a, a dirty container. So that's what we'll do next. These two can just be rinsed. I mean, this is really simple to rinse it. It's like rinsing a cup. And then I'm just gonna let it air dry on the counter on the towel. Uh, and on this guy, Another rinse. It's got some metal parts, but overall, um, it's got some screws too. So I just wouldn't, I'd rinse it and then try to dry it best you can and then air dry the rest. But that's, it's pretty simple to clean. You could also spray it with a flea spray. I like to use Flea X, for example, and then let it air dry. That's how I leave them to air dry. While we're on the topic of fleas, I think I would also, if I own this and ended up with a flea problem, then I would spray this as well, just because you never know. You never know. This has an electronic part, I think, in it. Maybe not. But you could spray all of this and let it air dry and then make sure it was dry before you used it again. I went ahead and 
did spray these things with spray with Fleex and then let them sit and dry on the counter for a couple of days. So this goes back here like that. As you can tell that there's like a little doodad down there that this part goes into. And then the filter has this little rim around it. That's why there's all this like dust there because of the diatomaceous earth in my carpets. But that little rim is how you know that it fits on there. And then this part gets screwed on top. So when you lock it into place, they're aligned. And then that allows you to slide it in. Part of the cleaning of the JV35 is taking out the brush roll cover so that you can access the brush roll itself and clean that off. And in order to start that process, you can use just something simple as a penny. They have a flat head screw right there, a little plastic one. You can say, see that it says lock, unlock. Once you pop it off the cover, you can pull out the brush roll here at the top. There's a square entrance on that side. And then on this side, it is hexagonal, so you know the difference. There's also a little belt right there that you'll have to be aware of when you put it back in. I keep my brush rolls pretty clean, but if you have someone that has long hair in your house, a lot of times brush rolls will collect long hair. So they send you with an extra filter, this little tool that will cut through the extra hair so that you can get it off the brush roll really easily. So it's more effective when you're vacuuming. When you're putting the brush roll back in, you'll notice those ridges there that line up with the ridges that are here on the belt. And you wanna focus on getting that in first. Once that's attached, then you're just gonna finagle it and get the hexagonal to go into that little slot. If you have any trouble with that, you can bring it up with your nail and kind of twist the brush roll until it is on there aligned properly again. And then it's just a matter of getting the brush roll cover back on and closing up those. Another great way you can use the Jimmy JV35 is on a cat tree. So if you have a carpeted cat tree or even just a material that you need to have vacuumed, it's a great way to clean it and clean it easily. not much on here but it did get some cat hair which I'm actually impressed by because I clean this cat tree or I vacuum this cat tree with my vacuum every chance I get and I really it's a very little cat hair but I'm surprised there's any because I vacuum it so much so that's pretty impressive so a crazy thing happened during the review of this product I hired a cleaning lady to come twice a month and she was there the day that I took this footage but I had brought it up to like put on my bed and take the footage, not expecting her to use the, the vac. And she had used it. She had vacuumed the entire mattress and everything. And this is what she got. And so then I said, no, 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 like I was supposed to do it, not you. And she's like, no, I'll help you with the videos. And so this is her doing the couch. She absolutely loved the JV35. She thought it was really, really good and kept telling me how good it was and how much it got off. And she wanted to use it on all of my furniture, which was cool. And it was cool too, because I got a different perspective from someone who sees a lot of homes, sees a lot of vacuum cleaners. For her to be really impressed by it, I thought it was really neat as well. So with her help, we really put the JV35 to the test. We did all of my couches, all of my chairs to really see how well it worked and what debris we could get up. Here is what was collected from vacuuming that chair and this couch entirely. Now, one of the downsides of this is like, it's not gonna get easily into the nooks and crannies, right? It doesn't have a cre crevice tool. It doesn't, so like on the Papazon chair, for example, it's not gonna get into those crevices. I would have to like pull it taut in order for that to happen if I really wanted it to happen. So there are limitations to it, but overall I thought it, it did an excellent job on my upholstery. All right guys, that wraps it up for our final product review video for the Jimmy JV35 mattress vacuum. When Jimmy reached out to me, asked me if I was interested in reviewing this, 
I didn't really think I needed it, but I had reviewed two other Jimmy vacs, two other stick vacuums. And so I was like, you know what? Jimmy's are really cool. I think I'm going to go for this thing and, and see what it's like. And I was really impressed by it. I, I didn't expect to be impressed by it and I didn't understand the need for it until I saw the results from it. And the coolest thing for me is that UV light because I know how much certain lights can affect bacteria and whatnot. And if it's killing bacteria in my carpet and in my upholstery and in my mattress, all the better. And especially eliminating allergens from my house to help my cats as they age, that's perfect as well. I loved it on my stairs because it worked so well and it was so much easier and so much lightweight than the current vacuum that I've been using for that specific purpose. I also was super impressed by how much the cleaning lady liked it. She really made me appreciate it even more than I already did. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.